When I was standing in that detective's office and he was asking me if my best friend was capable of... I just got so angry. I mean, it was bad enough losing Douglas. I refused to let them hurt you. Okay. All right. All right. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm, I'm really sorry. I should never have snapped at you. Forget it. Okay. What is this? Oh, well, it's uh, copies of my term paper on a right to die. I <laughs> should probably burn these, right? Well, that might be a little rash. I'll read it later. Right now, I am going to whip you up a health food feast like you wouldn't believe. Mm. You okay? Yes. Try and get Christy to stay for lunch, okay? Okay. Will you stay? I really should get home to... Oh. I almost said home to Douglas. Oh, Christy. It's okay. Mary Francis, he was so fond of you. He always told me I should appreciate you more. He said best friends like Mary Francis are rare. He was right. You really wouldn't have wanted us to argue or doubt each other, you know? So let's try to do less of that, okay? Okay. Good. Oh, and listen, would you do me a big favor? Anything. Okay. Hopefully this isn't going to come up, but don't mention anything to Captain Cooper about my having given Douglas my term paper to read, the, the one on euthanasia, okay? Oh, of course. No, my lips are sealed, and you tell Cass to stop worrying. We're buddies again. Okay. And you are staying for lunch, right? Absolutely. Good, because I wouldn't take no for an answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Captain Cooper, please come in. Mrs. Carson, hope you're feeling better. Thank you. It's nice to have some company. I'm not used to being in this house all alone. It must be pretty painful uh, discussing your husband's death. I really just can't even believe it. Well, off the record, I feel the same way about Frankie Frame. I know Frankie, and I don't think she's capable of being involved in something like this. Oh, well... I am so relieved to hear you say that because I'm absolutely sure that Mary Frances had nothing at all to do with what happened to Douglas. May I look around? Sure, go ahead. Mrs. Carson, I need to know more about your husband. His mindset, his personality, not just in the days before his death, but uh, in general. What kind of a man was he? Well, he was fascinating and very complex. What did he feel most strongly about? Let's see. Uh, God, so many things. I could go on all day. At the time of his death? Well, Douglas was writing all the time, and, and most of the time he wrote right here. I'd like to look through his desk. Well, of course, but his desk is in the library, and, well, he spent most of his time here writing since his retirement, so... What is this? The right to die, the ethics of euthanasia in contemporary society? By Frankie Frame. That's not supposed to be there. I mean, it, it's, um, I thought I returned that. Did your husband read this? Well, Mary Frances wrote that for school. Douglas was just helping her with it. I, I really thought I had brought it back. I did bring it back, but it Douglas Carson, made a copy. Carson, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to take this in. Either with your permission, or I can get a warrant from a judge. A judge? No. Well, go ahead and take it if you need it. I, I just don't see why it would be important. Could be very important.
This week on Days of Our Lives, which villain will succeed with their evil plan? Will Vivian's plot to kill Carly succeed, or will Lawrence get what he wants in destroying Bo? Find out this week on Days of Our Lives.